Okay, we will continue with the web roof. For this web roof, uh, we already mentioned that all these buttons on top here, you can actually click on it and it runs a separate component from the web code itself. Uh, we are going to try out the mailbox that is provided by WebWolf. You will notice that firstly, I have already logged in to WebGoat. I have also launched my WebWolf and I have logged in using the same ID. Of course, they are created separately uh, on this both component. Now, let me go back to the WebGoat itself. If I scroll down, there is a little small uh, exercise or for us to test our email system. There is a section where you can actually type in your mail, your email itself. Uh, the email is really a fake mail, so basically you can type a you uh email portion let's say just i'll just type this as uh at the domain can be any domain so dot com all right so i have this okay it doesn't have to be a real email because i don't actually have a webgoat.com uh mail server but I'll just click this send mail or oh, before I click the send mail let me go to my mailbox in webwolf okay this is the mailbox itself there is already two mails here right which I have run previously uh, okay I'm back at this web code let me click the send mail so I have a message down here see an email has been sent to limjetwe at webgoat.com so check the inbox your inbox is actually at the webgoat mailbox right. and you will realize that I have just received another message All right this is today's date you can see it is uh, 1253 to read this mail I just need to click this and this is the message that is actually uh, sent from WebWolf. Now in this WebGoat tab, there is actually a another little text box here that is to type in the so-called uh, unique code. My unique code is actually over here. They actually send a unique code to me. Uh, it's actually the URL, uh, the uh, actually the username in reverse. So I'll just copy this. Let me just copy this back to web code and paste it right here and click go. All right. And once you have done that, you will notice that you have completed this uh, assignment and you will have these two little check mark over here. Okay, so for this particular section, we have tested the email right, inside the web booth and it is actually working.